hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is hadidi makeovers so for today we are going to be doing a dark skin transformation makeup look a melanin transformation look makeup look so if you guys are interested please don't forget to subscribe like and also comment and don't forget to keep watching this is how you make overs right here so if you're a new subscriber welcome to the family if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and guys let's jump right into the video so as you can so okay so guys as you can see i already cleaned her face i'm using the rose micellar cleansing water i'm going to gently clean out her face you want to make sure you work on a clear skin surface so my model here her name is amina a very gentle and kind human so um when she came into the studio she just came randomly to see her friend asma and i was like i love your skin i love your charisma i love your attitude just sit down let me make you up let's do a tutorial for youtube so she sat down gladly she was actually hungry when i asked her to sit down and she was just perfect she was just keeping her head like she's just everything thank you amina for coming if you're watching this video so as you can see um, I cleaned her face using the rose water, the rose micellar cleansing water, of course. You just want to tone her face. And before that, I, um, before everything, you have to moisturize the lips. I used the Vaseline lip, pink lips therapy. I applied that on her lips so that the lips, would, the lips is already dry. So you just want to do this so that the lips will just be getting moisturized before you get to the lip part so i'm going to be moving on to the brows i am cleaning her brows using the i applied pond on her brows um this pond mattifying face primer that you people use oil control primer so i used that on her brows so that to control her brow the oily part of the outlining i'm going to be brushing the hair upwards she don't have she doesn't have her brows we are just like um i'm going to follow her natural shape of brows because she doesn't want to cap her brows so i just cleaned the um, applied the ponds oil control mattifier on her brows and then brushed out outlined with the davis brow pencil and then still I brushed the hair then i used the usher's brow tint on her brows so as you can see i'm going to be using the v beauty palette concealer palette to clean the brows i showed you this is the two shades i'm going to be using for today this is the very dark one a little bit lighter shade i'm going to be using the lighter shade for her brow bone then i'll be using the other one the darker shade for the inner part of the brow. so guys watch how we slay her brows so guys as you can see after that I went ahead to use a darker shade of brows a darker shade of concealer for the inner and outer part so that it won't be looking too white and one freaky thing about a dark skin person whenever you're doing this two shades of concealer on a dark person be careful you don't want to go very light or too light it's going to mess everything up so you want to stay within her shade you want the colors to pop be within her skin tone shades you don't want to go over the board with that so this is we are done with the first brows i'm going to be doing the second brows and then boom this is how cute i mean is looking <laughs> her brows are looking very fine so after that i'm going to be using the cetaphil moisturizer and the milk hydro grip 
moisturizer too is it a moisturizer or a gripping moisturizer i don't even know what this thing is i shall bought it and it's very good like it's very very good it hydrates the skin very well so i'm going to be applying that on top of my foundation tray after applying that putting some of the product i'm going to go in direct on her face you want to gently tap on her skin using a damp beauty blender that helps with moisturizing the skin very well so the milk hydro grip whatever i'm going to be using that mostly under her eyes her chin her t-zone just to keep that part of the face hydrated those places around the face tends to get dry so i'm going to be applying that dabbing all over her face with the same moisturizer the one the cetaphil i'm going to be applying that with the same cetaphil moisturizer using my damp beauty blender so before we move on i'm going to be doing the eyes first so as you can see and as usual i am using the benai eye primer the benai clan white eye primer I'm going to be using a small brush, just dabbing that so that I'll get into the corners of her eyes. I'm going to be dabbing that all over her crease. Then I'll be blending that out. So after applying the eye primer, I'm going to be making sure I apply. Okay, after applying the eye primer, I'm blending everything out on both her lids. I'm going to be going in with the Beauty by AD eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is the bomb, guys. This eyeshadow palette is pigmented, guys. It's very, very pigmented. No matter how small you just touch, everything will just be pop, 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 pop. <laughs> popping out very well. So I'm using the um, Beauty by AD eyeshadow palette. I don't, I can't remember. Is it, uh -huh, sorry, in the palette Twisted. Um, the eyeshadows name the this they have two palettes. The one, the other one is colorful while this other one is just all nude shades if you look at it so i'm going to be using i use the palette in twisted that's the name of the palette twisted it's more of nude colors so i'm going to be using the shade bellumi on that and then other shades after using the black color to contour i went in with other shades to just do the transitioning as you can see at this at the on the god english english i just pray this is not like the first thought this is like the one million time i'm making a mistake here on youtube with my english but sure you guys are understanding now <laughs> so um i used other shades for the transitioning and then blending everything out as you can see I hope you guys are getting what i was saying i'm actually very sleepy as i am recording this this is past 10 10 p.m guys i am sleepy So, after blending the eyeshadow, I'm going to make sure I set her brow bone with my powder palette, something close to her skin tone, and then do the nose contour, complement her nose contour by the, on the inner part of her eyes. After blending that out, I'm going to be transitioning again using the Zikel, the Lydia Stanley eyeshadow palette. So before we apply the lashes, I'm going to be applying mascara just to take care of the eyeshadow fallout from her eyes and then apply the lashes. These lashes, I told you guys I got it from AliExpress. Um, it's a very light lashes, very lightweight. It's just there. It looks like your hair actually. 
if you are not if you don't look at it very well you'll never know it's the person's it's a false lashes you think it's the person's real lashes this lashes is beautiful like us here we've been i, I don't know if you've watched um the last video i posted i think the last two videos i talked about this lash and i even tagged the um i dropped the link to where you're going to get this on aliexpress but i think i'm going to be tagging the same link on the description box that if you guys want it i'll be leaving the link down below so that you guys will go shop for this lashes this lashes is just everything if you don't like thick and heavy lashes this is it for you guys So I'm going to be doing her upper brows using the same concealer palette I used. But I used a shade a little bit darker. After doing the brows, I'm going to be doing the other one off camera. Then. I'm going to be using the Khalifa foundation in the shade Ebony. This ebony shade is just her perfect color. You will think they looked at her skin when they were making this foundation. Ebony is just her perfect shade. So I'm going to be applying that all over her face. Blending, blending, blending. So after blending that out, I'm going to be going in with the LA Girl Highlighter in the shade Concealer, Liquid Concealer in the shade Twisted to highlight her face. I'm sorry, in the shade Chestnut. I was talking about, I was thinking about the eyeshadow Twisted, <laughs> the Beauty by AD eyeshadow in Twisted, but no, that is not it. This shade in LA Girl Concealer in the shade chestnut that is what i'm using for her skin can you see how beautiful she's already looking guys if you're feeling this makeup please give me a thumbs up don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to just don't forget to do anything so <laughs> just don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment or share anyhow share but share just watch my videos to the end <laughs> So looking at this, I'm going to be blending out the concealer, the highlighter, sorry.
so we are doing the creamy blush today i'm going to be using this um lipstick from oriflame the name is in one the name of the product is one it's from oriflame i'm using the orange shade lips lip stain i'm going to be applying that on her cheeks so that i'm going to be i just wanted a cream blush and i wanted something very subtle but when you apply this later on it pops out so that's why i love this color it looks lighter now when it dries up it's going to come out very well so this is the blush i used the oriflame for product oh, God, English. so i used the oriflame pro the oriflame product uh, la, la. the oriflame product the lipstick i don't really know the name of their lipstick but i shall know it's one the one that's what they call it the one so i'm going to be setting her highlight with my powder palette the v beauty powder palette i'm just using this i'm just dabbing lightly locking in the concealer so that it doesn't crease up when i apply before applying my setting powder So before we set her face, I'm going to be doing the nose contour. I'm using a very dark shade from, from the same powder palette. I told you guys I do nose contour only. So after contouring, I'm going to be going in with a lighter shade of the powder again. Just to shape out her nose. I wanted it to be looking very thin, which is already obvious. As you can see, the nose are looking very thin already. So I'm going to be using my setting powder. I'm going to be setting her whole face. So I'm going to be using the S-Pon setting powder to set her face. To set her highlights rather. I'm going to be setting that gently. I feel... Okay, there is one time I made a video and I was like, if you're using a setting powder, you should use... If the person is dark, you can use the Zaron Mineral Loose Powder or the Pineapple Setting Powder. But no, I prefer using Espon. Espon works with every skin type, any skin color. So it's a translucent powder, very light. So that's why I love... If you guys have been following me for a while now, you know this is my go-to setting powder. This is just the best for me it doesn't cake break it doesn't bake too much like it doesn't look too cakey too flaky or too it's just translucent so it goes with any skin type and all that so after that i'm going to be setting her whole face with powder after setting her face i'll be moving on i'm using the beauty by ad highlighter i can't remember the shade but i sure i'm using <laughs> the beauty by ad Hi highlighter I love this highlighter so much like it gives you this natural glow on your skin so yeah after highlighting her cupid bow I'm going to be going in with the shade um, with the classic 24 hour lip stain in hot flame and stone the other shade is called stone so I'm going to be lining the outer lip with stone with <laughs> the hot flame which is a very dark maroon color then i'll go in with the other one the stone shade for the inner part of her lips
so i'm going to be making sure i blend that out smoothly and generously <laughs> you want to blend it out do the transitioning properly i wanted the lips to look very pouty and very cute that's why i am concentrating on the blending very well so who loves amina's makeup who think amina has changed if you do please indicate down below in the comment section and tell me amina looks beautiful so after i'm done with this i'm going to move in on to remove the setting powder we're going to be taking off the setting powder so using the finishing powder from the v beauty powder palette i'm using the darker part the darker shade i'm going to be setting her face taking out the powder setting our whole face making sure we get into the corners taking out the powder now can you see how cute and beautiful amina is looking so who loves amina's makeup after I'm done so after taking off the setting powder I'm going to be applying her eyeliner the high the eyeliner on her water gel I'm using the Zaron gel eyeliner in jars I'm going to be applying that on her waterline so guys we are done with the eyes so the final part and the finishing part of the makeup is the whole thing the holy bath the holy bath this is what makes your makeup last longer this is what makes your powder sets into your skin this is what makes your foundation and your powder your setting powder everything sinks in deeply into your skin so that when you walk and when you're under the sun under the under 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 inside cold your makeup will not be looking too dry it will be looking too freezy or too whatever this is the setting spray for you i'm using the damini beauty setting spray i'm going to be spraying that all over her face and boom the makeup is already sitting clearly then i'm going to highlight her cheekbones highlighting of the high points of her face i'm using the uh, Oh god. I'm exhausted. I'm using the Beauty by AD highlighter to highlight the high points of her face, her cheekbones, the tip of her nose, her forehead, then of course her chin. Who loves this makeup? If you do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment. So we are done guys. Who loves this makeup? I'm going to be finishing out the last part of this with applying mascara under her lower lash so that everything looks set and pretty so who loves this makeup look if you do please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter tiktok and the facebook <laughs> and whatsapp i love you guys so much this is hadini makeovers once again i'll see you guys next week okay so about the turban tutorial i'm going to be dropping the turban tutorial on thursday if i it's possible but this turban tutorial will be seen i'll be dropping it on thursday i'll see you guys next week i'll see you guys on thursday bye